MVP are just kind of hoping you've got the energy to start this, and this pistol round would do a lot to get them back in business. Spinks is going to continue his tear. Headshot onto Rez. Hades waiting for the follow-up peek. There's no one behind him over in lane. Snappy's got his back. Madden as well, peering down that B ramp. They see nothing. D has got an early jump on the rotation, though, and that might be ill-advised towards A. S-tag and Plopsky. Looking to line up in that staging area. Hampus has one flashbang towards B, so I guess maybe he's going to try and throw a little bit of a fake, have some kind of presence. Hampus trying to work away towards the bottom of the ramp. A funnel in both directions, and right now it's funneling a lot of attention out of the cave position. Lovely shot, Hades. Drops off it, immediately peers toward the elbow, making sure no one's going to try and retake from mid and lock their position out. But it's over toward A, we have to turn our attention. Dia way back, has Sphinx up close. Sphinx is the one that's going to do the damage. Dia's hit the headshot first on S-Tag, though. And Fuzi, even though that bomb is right in front of him, has not a lot to work with in this round. 46 HP and five kills to find. He'll get taken down inside of the smoke. Yeah, those are in some nasty positions from the CTs to have two players fighting at one angle. And the cheers come out, resounding cheers as ends take the pistol round in the opening half of Ancient. Gotta say, not just NIP playing back into it, but also importantly, like, what was the hole they started out on Nuke? It was like nine to one at one point. Like, that that just can't happen. It was such an incredible run from Ents to start Nuke on their T side. NIP need to be able to challenge and get on the board early on here, limit the amount of money that Ents' defense can pick up, because also the desk mentioned, this is one of the more CT-sided maps that we have in the pool. And this can slide out of control very, very quickly. And I think considering the way Nuke went to open up, if you get into like a deep hole like 5-6-0 or 6-1, I think it's just going to be so deflating. Follow-up smoke, they're going to jump right through it. Multiple different angles to contend with. Hades only good for one. Sphinx tagged up, but he's going to go back for more. He keeps repeaking. The SMG is there. He knows he's got backup. He knows he's got Snappy ready and waiting to pounce, and they're going to recover the M4s just fine. Two players go down, two MP9s lost to the world, but everything else in hand. AK is coming out for NIP now. See if they can get anything going with it early on, a little bit earlier than they had the guns out on the first map because they were CT side. They did try and go for a solo M4, if you'll think way back that far. Didn't pay dividends. Campus toward middle to contest. It's Hades that'll get toward Donut Hall first, and the early nades go down in that spot as always. Look at the utility thrown toward Rez. This guy's just getting chunked right now. He's down to 49, the poor guy. He hasn't even seen anyone yet, and he's going to have trouble seeing them because there's smokes in that position as well. He knows that Snappy, therefore, has to be inside Jaguar. I don't know if he's ready for Sphinx. He has the crosshair placement as if he was, but Sphinx wins the duel instead, given that early damage. Oh, no. Snappy blinded up. Might have won. That. Is he going to realize a little bit of spam coming through? Plopsky probably hears this. Good damage on a Fuzi down to 11 HP. Plopsky slid past, but nobody is in mid. Oh. Sphinx is backed all the way off. Madden had that too and looked away at the exact wrong time. You would have seen Fuzi's head going through, and it's not like you would have had to be that accurate. Tag him through the box on the HP that he has. Hampus on 20 as well. I was a little worried for Snappy because he took the first spam and then looked to his right. I expected that they would see the rebuttal, maybe anticipate Plopsky pushing through, but... Madden will close out S tag, and Look unfortunately, at the that's exactly the high HP player. They're just bleeding out right now all over the map. Yeah, 34 combined HP before that kill happens across three players. Not ideal. Hampus and Fuzi left. Good aggression towards that B lane. If you can establish that dom dominance, and now you've got you've got pissed around, you've got the second round, now you've got this third round as well with the M4s, where Ents has successfully been able to find kills towards middle with their kind of pushes, and that might put this T side on notice. That might be hard for them to deal with. Snappy's going to double them up. Easy mop-up kills. Switches out for the AK-47, and it's three to nothing. Oh, so quickly. Oh, so quickly indeed. So Ents back in control, and IP have not had a lead in this series at any point. Or hashtag he's the high HP player and Madden just slides out and takes him down. Easy cleanup from Snappy at the end. It's a pretty nasty off angle, and I think the really unfortunate part about it as well is because I think it was Fuzi who was such a low HP player that was there as well. Like he was so low that he couldn't actually have the information. He had no way to know where Madden was gonna be positioned or where he moved off to. Good mid control. Hades with a double. He's brought down to 16, but gonna back off. And Ence is gonna be very happy with a five on three. Snappy still aggressive in lane and he's gonna grab another one. In your face, in your face, Counter-Strike, and NIP can't handle it for the moment. 
Shots out. Oh, so nerdy. What, Dia getting close like this? <laughs> that little, like, long-range vertical stack that you have. Yeah. They, and they slid into it as well. That was like a called protocol. Ooh, good shot. That's a tag. They did boost above, and they still wouldn't have seen Dia because he had his head down. You're right. But they still get one back. Unfortunately, they are very limited again as S tag With bomb in his hands, has only a tech nine. He gets shot and panics and starts spinning around. He's just praying for a flank, praying for someone to be close up that he can just get a fortunate drive-by with that tech nine. The only person close right now is Spinks, who's holding side, outside bottom mid. Yeah, there's no reason for anyone from Ents to move. They, they know that they've denied every piece of map control. Snappy's pushed up, so you can't go back through T-spawn. Spinks has pushed forward, so you can't go mid. And now Madden obviously pushed up as well. So every choke point is denied. All that's left is for the swing and fight and the inevitable death. Four to nothing for Ents. Four to nothing and back to rifles though for NIP. So full utility, full arsenal, no AWP to work with yet. That's probably fine for them. Let's just get them on the board. There's gonna be no op on the other side either. And the aggression toward the middle portion of the map continues. They will utilize it to rotate through Donut. No, they won't. They're gonna go all the way down. All the way down. In fact, it's going to be a rotation back from Hades, who sat in window just to support his teammates before going to A. And again, they have that lane control. Well, and they're also building upon this. They're like, look, we've dominated you guys in the middle so many rounds. Oh, ooh, they got to bust up the stack. Yeah. They're, they're, I mean, it's just, like, it's just a confidence play because you've been able to hold on to it so much. Flashbang is out. Hampus wants to go through. Gets shut down. Good rebuttal. Good response. Snappy. Get it back away. Sphinx is still there for the help. Oh, they can't find any good fights. They're getting deleted everywhere they look it's just a slight variation by going for that boost instead and they can see down toward that mid connector spot and then even though they want to push the smoke which i can't blame him for at that point he knows where they're trying to play the second man's staring it down and uh, this looks like it could be a clean round four ends a tag on 36 is gonna get caught no madden not quite ready for that and he could hear him coming so s tag does at least get that kill back yeah it might have been a call previously that he was you know in that mid choke point and s tag just hustles back no big deal for Entz. Again, this final player, S-Tag, just boxed in everywhere he wants to go. This little staging area outside the B-double doors is really all he has access to. Hades and Deha peeking deep into the tunnel behind him. Snappy and Sphinx doubled up in the lane in front of him. 25 seconds. Again, the only option S-Tag really has is to peek into his inevitable demise. Yeah, there's no chance he can win out this with two players there. I, I mean, I'd say no chance. Statistically speaking, Spinks, there's always a chance. There's always a chance. Sphinx will get the kill, and we go now 5 nothing for Enzo. This well-coordinated, a lot of different looks being shown at you, very aggressive in your face, is so discombobulating to a team that might not have all the protocols down that they'd like. Molotov thrown out. Snappy thinks he's cleared. Oh, he has. <laughs> he smokes Rez. I thought... Plopsky being so close might catch him off for a headshot, but what a transfer. This is so sick. So sick, and you're denied access to such an important part of the map over and over again. So deflating. And I think every player that we've had conversations with, whether it's on air, as we spoke to Kadian about Ancient uh, earlier back in the group stage, um, and just players, just, just casual conversations around the hotel have always mentioned, like, this is just one of those things with Ancient where at, at a T side, this is that weird feeling that you can sometimes get you, like you're just locked out of all access. That was set and ready. Snappy was even trying to bait the AK so they could bring the silenced M4 into the picture. Madden will get two at the sacrifice of his teammate to close out the round 6 nothing for Ents. And look at the money. Oh, yeah, they're living the dream. Sphinx has, uh, I mean, 12,000 before the buy. Snappy's got 13,000 before his buy as well. This is so sick. He knows one's close up. He handles res first, transfers over, immediate headshot. He was even pre-aiming for Plopsky. Good reaction. Snappy's just zoned in. And its vision clears, and he adds the final kill. How many rounds are they going to get before NIP can put a stop to this? Hades takes a decent amount of damage from the Molotov, but he's going to stick, still stick around for a mid-fight. And NIP going to simplify this. They've been battered over towards B lane. They want to have some kind of a play towards A. Hampus in mid, Rez. As you can see here, working through these smokes, maintaining some presence, looking for aggression.
NIP just dropped two players back from A main to readjust for a set piece to take mid control when that smoke plumes. Might actually be a benefit that it's thrown before they use their utility. <laughs> yep, that sucks. Oh, it happened again. Hampus is like lining it up. He looks up. Oh, where'd that one come from? And there's no attention anywhere else on the map. Like, Rose isn't making his presence known all that much. S tag isn't applying any pressure. So, if you're Ents, you have to have the feeling that they're just stuck behind this smoke at the moment. And here come the nades to confirm. Good shots. Only one this time, they get a trade, and IP, that's something to work with. Snappy gonna go back out for more, and Rez, on a slightly off angle, finds the headshot. Upward, Hampus, on to Hades, it's all on Adia, and he speaks out to find that there's more than one, although it only took one, Rez, to get the kill onto him. Madden's gonna have to go long on this one if he wants a touchdown, Jason, because he is alone. He's got a kit, six kills already for him. Full HP, and he's got a helmet. Not that that will matter against the AKs, but he'll start his way into the site Regardless, if it's going to peek him first, and as I mentioned, the helmet completely inconsequential. His head gets removed, and IP on the board. Yep, Hail Mary there from Madden. We all know how those turn out generally. Six to one, five round lead. And that time, NIP, that might be something that they want to fall into again, and it'll be interesting to see how Ence's defense adapts. We've seen so many, such a variety of looks out of them on the T side of Nuke and the CT side of Nuke. Now the CT side. Here of Ancient, they've shown a lot of different looks of how to control mid and how to control lane. But NIP was more than happy that round to just sit and wait out all that utility, not try and force the issue as the Molotovs and nades and smokes ring in. Hampus gonna challenge. He's got some standing in mid and just backs away. Again, three towards the A bomb site. This time, Hades has an AWP. That's in Donut. Rinse and repeat, identical to last round from the ninjas. I mean, you might as well, right? It's the only thing that's found you success so far. And it wasn't like it was just execution, get in the site, oh, we got good luck. They actually won the exchange at middle for the first time. Yeah, but this is a different philosophy from Ents as well. Look at their nades. Look at how much they're holding on to. They're like, all right, you guys are going to slow play behind our mid smokes. We've kind of trained you that we can dominate if you're going to try and be aggressive and try and challenge early on in these rounds. We'll, we'll just hold them a little bit longer. Smoke goes down on B ramp. I know that there'll be the one person out there that says the helmet matters on the against the AK. Don't be fooled. But you indeed are a fool. Of course, he's meaning about wall bangs, but... There's another smoke for the B-ramp that's just put down. That'll drop us to about 23 seconds. So Madden at the pillar this time. We have not seen a lot at B. I haven't seen the bomb get this far. Spinks watching back lane, they know windows open. Popsky's gonna head that direction as well. Spinks is gonna have to be very careful on his timing. So is Dia, who runs out, and it's a lineup. Popsky gets them both, despite that they're 100 meters apart. And Hamp is to plant the bomb. Rinse, repeat, never mind. Go to B, and back-to-back -back rounds. Okay, might have to have a conversation if you're Ents. Running out of money now, where it was so flush with cash just a few rounds ago. NIP slow things down, and they found success. Missed shot from Hades. Expensive weapon hitting the deck. Popsky's not going to pick that up for the ninjas. Might want to have a timeout if you're Ents. Just talk things over. You've had a good to be able to take those fights to control the lane. They need it as well. So money is harder to build back up. And look how much utility they've already expended. Just trying to get back into those positions. Yeah, back into that mid control that netted them so much success. And you're exactly right. This is exactly what NIP wants. So we're going to have to see. Snappy, he's been so effective here. Madden as well. Rez, oh, he no. had the shot. He had to jump on that fight. Madden shuts him down. Okay, that's a huge part of the map lost to NIP. They might be forced into this hit quickly, so Hades is going to use his utility early on to delay anything that might be coming. He has got a good read on this because they never attacked the elbow back toward bottom middle. They have to be heading out toward A. They didn't try and trade it. There's only one other place they're going to sneak to on the map. Sphinx is trying to get there quickly because they lost their only B defender. It's Dia waiting in the corner. And Sphinx to take the long peek. A lineup as well. He's got the first shot. There's so much damage done on a Plopsky. Will make the situation worse simply because the bomb was dropped only for a second, but a second long enough to allow them to get much closer. And Dia does all the dirty work. Yeah, Dia just calling it out. Sphinx, I'm going to bait you. Go for your peek. See what you can do. He goes one for one. They never expected the follow up player that was there, even though it was a little bit sketchy, a little bit of a prolonged fight over towards Ruins. He's able to win it out. Seven to two. 
This time, that's actively hunting down Rez. I thought surely he was at least going to have that kill on towards Madden. Tough times for NIP. They managed two in a row, and Ents managed to keep their economy in the black. It's going to buy again. Obviously, three AK-47s picked up on the end side of things. Op in the hands of Fuzi for the first time. Molly's down into the cubby as well. Hades, but slow to react to see if it was going to spread to him. Took two ticks rather than getting that off his feet. But sooner, he's on 51 now. His additional damage deployed, but snappy has taken out Rez. Second time in a row, he's died in the lane. Last round, that was... A massive kill if he had been able to get that and, and it, he just missed it and it's the same reaction from nip here you lose res over towards b lane and now you're going to start pushing towards the a bomb site dia again to defend but he's got that op going up against him and if he peeks a little bit too wide he's going to be in trouble hampus trying to hold down the mid pressure that's been coming so frequently in this game waiting for the follow-up peek from sphinx oh just as he moved oh hampus is going to be so frustrating he was zoned in there headshot angle for dia as hades rotates back from donut 100 percent Spinks wins that duel he knows he's got less problems in middle he knows they still control the lane so he can support the a site despite that they've not seen them over here yet it is the right read good boost though s tag takes down dia the big man in the last round he was tagged albeit has 48 hp left and that's sufficient to try and find perhaps another once more, it's two inside a donut. They're both going to have to scurry away. Hades taking more damage, 26. I don't even think he's seen anyone yet on his screen, and he's taking damage in three different instances. Sphinx tried to go through that, tried to get the jump on that Molotov extinguishing so that they wouldn't be ready for him to arrive. But he gets AWP'd by Fuzi, who had clean vision toward that tunnel. Bomb still ticking, and he's not done there. He's going to slide out of the ruins to find Hades. He goes back in and gets another angle on Matt, and he knows exactly where Snappy is. Fuzi steps up for NIP, and it's 7-3. to three. So many tight, narrow angles to go up against an opera in that lane. Such a long distance to march against the sniper, and Fuzi makes him pay each and every time. Diha, though, just a little bit impatient at those plant boxes at that headshot angle. He was surprised that the play, that the reaction from NIP was taking that long, and he just shifts out, and he's going to wish he could have that decision back. Oh, there might be an opportunity to go back to those mid plays. If they have a good read on the economy NIP, they might be able to make it happen. Hampus is going to be aggressive, very curious. There's the FAMAS off angle, and speaks, Sphinx wins that as well. Pushed up in towards A main is one. Rez spots a player in Jaguar. Diha has control entirely of A B with his aggression. But running out of utility ends. The longer this round goes, the less they're going to have to work with. Smoke to cover up the opera. Fuzi tries to see if there's... Oh, the timing! Absolutely perfect. Maybe it was clear on his screen because that didn't show up as a smoke kill, but... No, that didn't. It could have just been dissipating a little bit. Snappy is ready again inside of Jaguar, but he's locked on this side. Oh, they saw him? Yeah, they have, I think they would have seen him. You're absolutely right. No question. They check it immediately, double peek it, even pre-firing the corner to make sure there's not someone else burrowed in. Hades has put himself in another off angle, another one that's going to be tough to get out of. It's one of those angles you can't control your escape from. Yeah, but if he's able to kill Rez, if they come here with bodies, uh, I mean, Plopsky's so low, so if Plopsky's going to be there to follow up on Rez's hit, Timing is everything. Hades shifts out towards the pillar, the default plant pillar. Molotov in towards Cubby to his right. They're gonna swing wide. Good flashbang. Oh, he didn't complete the kill. He's gotta go back for it. Deagle's out. Deagle's out. He's got one and can't double up. It's Deha. But this is actually a relatively winnable one versus two, even with just the P250. Look at the HP on Plopsky. If he can find that player first, Save. it'd be everything. Yeah, he's safe, but this is an interesting call because they've got the smoke out now on the lane. Where does Dia go? He seemingly wants to go through it. He's got a gun picked up. That's the first order of business. But now, rotating to the lane, that's exactly where they want to position him. No nades to work with, because Plopsky, being as low as he is, interestingly enough, not the one to bait either. You'd think that they would want him to go down first and have Rez take the shot, because if Rez loses this battle, it's very, very awkward. Luckily, two and one is not expected from Dia, but that could have been a single bullet loss. Smart play from NIP. It's just so hard to read if they're going to double up in the same position like that. And you got to give props to the ninjas. They went into a hole early. It was six to nothing at one point. They've won four of the last five, and they finally, it took them 11 rounds but they've taken the economy away from Ence's defense. Now they can put some more rounds on the board. Now they can pad the scoreboard just a bit, start feeling a bit more comfortable in this game. And they've had to do it the hard way. They've had to really test, slow things down for a while, speed things back up, take space when they can't. Hampus now 
Gonna get a double as S-Tag follows in for the cleanup on Hades, Madden, and Spinks at the end. Seven to five, the lead is cut down to two. NIP doing wonderful work now because as you said, Jason, this is still the most CT-sided map in the pool. Seven for Ents. If NIP start to get hot is not enough. They need a few more rounds in this half. AWP for Fuzi will have to be something they'll have to contend with on the end side, and they'll do it with slightly less utility. Now, I say that it's flashes that they lack. They still have a good amount of incendiaries and smokes, which means they can still go for the mid-control with their M4s. Counter off by Rez. Smoke toward the gate. Oh, no, Spinks. That's the worst thing in the world. Didn't get the extinguishment out nearly fast enough. Rez actually countered the smoke at gate with a Molotov, so they couldn't push down a check toward Jaguar, but he has to concede. And IP just run the same play over again. Oh, Hampus gets caught sleeping as that smoke plumes. Hey, or Deha, excuse me. Defensive smoke towards the eight bomb site. Again, it was Rez towards B. It was Hampus and Mill. The other three working towards the eight bomb site. That's a recipe that's worked for NIP multiple times already in this game. This time, seems like access is denied. Good play from Hades to take out the mid player that time. And that single smoke from Dia, they're not actually going to commit to the A tunnels, which is what they've done when losing middle before. The difference is this time they at least have a four on four situation. Oh, Hades is going to have to be so careful here. Sees it. Does he repeat it? Oh, cheer me. Get back behind the box, son. Yeah, but that actually could lure Rez into a play. One player falling back. His position is known now. Madden's going to be slow. Oh, Rez has no idea. He's got no idea. He's going to go down. That's a tough reaction shot to hit. But mid is open for NIP. They're going to walk right through their own donut smoke. And unfortunately, due to that damage, they never spotted how many were at mid. Hades never got a call on that, so... They don't have a ton of information to work off of here, but Hades is going to see them now. Low HP or not, he gets back into position and ruin that smoke. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, tough you... off angle, and you'll never expect Deha. They don't have the manpower to take that bomb site. Fuzi gets one. It's all over. Eight to five. Ants with three players surviving. Going to drop some weapons over and get right back into it. But NIP have good, uh, enough money for a buy. They'll be able to challenge again. Trying to keep this as close as possible. Two rounds left in the first half of Ancient. That was Hades. That's a pretty solid shot. Getting through the L turn position. Yeah, that smoke's just not gonna do it. Not gonna cut it. A little too deep, a little too far left. Sphinx and Dia this time. Oh, it's gonna be fast. Mac 10 and Deagle. They're going right through the smoke. They're going right through the Molotov. Nade damage done. Madden hears it. He's gotta back off. This concedes position in the site. There's that lovely wall bang, though. Snappy's able to get one. It was assisted by a flash from Plopsky, of all things. Not that he would have been fully blinded, but trying to cover off the site. They did do a, a great job of identifying the cave was where they'd retreated to. Not even needing to smoke close in the lane. They go deep. This could let Plopsky actually fight forward with this MAC-10. I don't know that he wants to go forward, though. I think he wants to go in toward the cave. He's confused as to which direction, but he does get in there jumping. MAC-10 movement. It's Dia instead to take the shot back. And do they go for the boost over top? They could look through the window on this one. They could try and find a pick toward the back lane. They know they don't have that control. Instead, though, Hades going to clear it himself, but he misses the shot. And unfortunately for him, Hampus gets the return. They don't have a clue where Fuzi is. What a crossfire. This is a massive one for them to find themselves in. Madden can't do anything with it. Running around looking for a gun to avoid the reload. And six for NIP. That's crazy. That, that jump into cave with the MAC-10 seems absolutely insane. One kill, but you spot two more. That gives so much information away. Where that retake is going to come from allows your teammates to position just perfectly. This is a really tough, scrappy two versus four to win. But obviously, Hampus just says, okay, the retake's going to come from cave. Let me clear this so then I can have all my attention forward phenomenal play from Fuzi as everyone's attention is in the other direction just chilling in the cubby and making his play count eight to six NIP firmly in this game Spinks has been pre-smoking that spot at Donut pretty much every single round now and they've covered off cubby this time he's gonna try and go to it late he's gonna try and catch them off but a pop flash he didn't see it coming Hampus couldn't see him running back through the smoke either look how nervous though NIP is about any kind of mid presence so much utility used in that part of the map and it's so crazy to me because there's so much utility still required to take either site. You got to feel for Rez because Ents has been so dominant in lane to start this half, like the first 10 rounds or so. He like NIP have largely just said, you know what? It's not working. We're going to go away from it. So Rez has been so much alone. It's been a really, really rough game for him because he just hasn't really had backup. Good, Haddon. Good for one, but s -tag gets the trade immediately on the AK. Lane smokes deployed. Close this time as well because they haven't cleared it. They haven't pushed the CTs back. 
Nice tag gets one more, but that's all he's gonna have a say on. And it is Rez. He's very much alone now, Jason. See the spam coming through from Cave, gets the lineup. And he's well aware that there's one inside of the second lane at long. As the shots come through, that smoke's gonna fade. He looked away from it at the time. Didn't know he's gone behind the wall. Now he sees it. Now he's got the lineup, but he's uncertain as to where the second player is. And he can't rest and wait for that, but sees the shadow. Now Rez has the advantage. He might be able to clutch this. Another one on three. He did it yesterday to Liquid on low HP. Similar, in fact, as this time he's on 24. And Dia's got to step out with a deagle side. But a little bit more to be happy about if you're an NIP fan. And if you're an NIP, 9-6 this time at half as opposed to a 12-3 scoreline. And now they are on the CT side, the favorable side of Ancients. And they'll get started right away. Jason, not a single dually in sight, thank God. <laughs> and you know what? NIP should feel confident with the scoreline they had in the first half, the way they clawed back, especially considering this is their pick. They have got to have a good feeling about your defensive side on Ancient. Good flashbangs, good utility starting to stream out. This is where it gets dangerous. Follow-up flashbang is effective against both sides. Defense struggling to hold on. Knife is out. He's out of ammunition. He's got nowhere to go. He's somehow still alive. Hampus doing everything he can. Tried to bait even, tried to get Rez in a position to get the headshot while he was standing there. But you're right, absolutely out of ammunition. Fired a ton of shots. Oh, Dia's in trouble. He's got to try and hold on, but Fuzi's being aggressive. The flank is coming in, and Dia cannot stay alive long enough. Back to the eight bombsite. Did he spot Hades? I don't think they did. I don't think s has a clue. None at all. Back exposed, and he's got a USPS, which means he can back off and send it with the Postal Service pistol because he's got the headshot range now to work with. No success on the first peak. Oh, my goodness. Fuzzy again? How is he in the right spot twice? Right oh, spot, wrong dear. aim. That is a problem. That was low HP. Spinx at 12. He hits that and drops the bomb down. Plopsky has a lot more confidence to go, but he's still going to get aggressive. Knowing they're inside of the site, has to get the reload in before Spinx peaks. Spinx is <laughs> down two on 12 in the pistol round. Oh, Lord. I thought he was going to get off the bomb and actually double peak with that. It took a little bit long, but Spinx is on point. As he was on Nuke as well, he was a monster. That's a brilliant shot. And you're exactly right. Running that route from Sphinx, multiple ways he could have gone down. What a hectic pistol this was. Poor Hampus. Had no idea he was going to have time. Oh. Yeah, just spamming away. Fuzi peeks into it. Plopsky goes down, immediate headshot, and Sphinx delivers his team a pistol. B rush. Free plant. Poor Hampus in that round as well with the knife out. He's expecting that he's going to get engaged sooner. He actually had time to reload, but you he already committed at that point. He's like, I don't I just please kill him. You have no way of knowing. You have no way of knowing if you have that kind of time with all the flashbangs that were coming out as well. I think those were even team flashes from NIP side. It was blinding everyone. It kept Hampus alive, but obviously just added more chaos into the recipe. Madden's going to come back. A little bit of a boost with these USPs. Here's the shot come out. I'll take this fight. Only gonna get the one. Spray control not quite there with the Galil. There's the Mac-10 chiming in. Snappy builds up a decent amount of cash. Spinks with the other two. And ends with a five round lead. Third round buy in the second half coming in. M4 is picked up across the board for the Ninjas. Indeed. So stretching the legs out early Ents, but they'll have the rifles up now on the NIP side to try and stop this run of what has been two rounds unanswered. They'll stay with MAC-10s as they did on Nuke. And remember on Nuke, they were extremely successful at taking away map control and somehow finding favorable duels for those SMGs. So very much the bonus round again for them. And it would lead to a one following as well, depending on how many are held. They're going to go quick. Quick indeed. And S-Tag goes down. That's the problem with the SMGs. They're already on top of them. He gives his position away because he has to fight forward against one. And there's nothing he can do about the repeaks. The oh. smokes were in place. But there's a lineup in that. Could be a problem. That's going to drop the bomb. They don't have time to recover it. Hampus is ready. He'll spray out Hades. And a quick response. NIP in charge. Yeah, much like Nuke. Ents getting highly aggressive with those Mac 10s to try and break into a bomb site. It was almost there. But a Molotov on the default plant spot for forces that plant into the open where it cannot be covered. Good recovery from NIP. Hampus swinging out, double kill for him. He's gonna add the third onto it right at the end as Hades couldn't handle the peak. 11 to seven. This round's important for the ninjas to establish economic superiority moving forward. They have Ents at a breaking point. Sphinx coming through. Not deterred at all. Sphinx aware that the shots came from window. It took him a second to figure it out based on where the bullets were hitting behind him, turned his head, and identified that the silencer was indeed on his right. He's going to feel like he had that. He's going to be confused a little bit. I think that that didn't connect with the headshot. Ampus down to 19, but sticking around in mid. Another smoke is up at the top of the mid stairs. 
Resin Donut, Fuzi at the A bomb site, Hampus in mid, S tag and Plopsky to defend B. No Molotov for the cubby position. Oh, oh, oh. Timing, S tag, I'm surprised he's alive. 12 HP. He's desperate on the right side of the pillar, though. They're <laughs> spamming the pillar. We know that's not wallable at all, but might as well just make him uncomfortable because they have to push him from the lane. And he's low. He had the headshot line up, but Diaz got the angle instead and better off for it. Clear the corner. Clear the cubby. They know he's there. They know he's there, but he's still a triangle. Diaz stuck inside of, and he somehow fights back through the smoke to get Hampus. He's got coverage as well toward that back lane. That smoke's going to dissipate now, but Balm already down. Rez is on the flank. On the flank, but he's... Oh, I was going to say, being watched by Snappy, he's not. Diaz going to fall back down. Smoke and play? No, yes, there is. I take it back. Rez has one. He could lock him out right now. He's going to do it. He's going to throw that smoke down. Bounces a little bit deep. Dia can push back, but he'll be ready and being watched. So I think he concedes the round. Might go for a cheeky wall bag. Might try and get a lineup on this, but they're too far to the right. He doesn't have it. He doesn't have a clear shot. I think that even clips the edge of the cinders on the other side. So NIP with a defuse to go 11-8. Yeah, that simply was an unwinnable one versus, one versus two when that smoke goes down. Very, very close from Ents, but NIP hold on. Now Ents have a bit of a decision to make, and I don't think they'll want to necessarily use a timeout this early, but they have to know that they're keeping the money low with just two players surviving. They have to be going for this in some regard. More uncertain in the later stages than our previous one was. Oh, Molotov's already there quickly. Sphinx rushing it out, but Hampus ready for it. Might have had a bit more luck with that one if the nades didn't slow him down. Good kill from Rez from Snappy's contact. Turns from a flashbang from a teammate, slides back into the angle, goes down. Rez, a bit over eager there. Smoke might give some space over the T side, but Fuzi at the headshot angle, not blinded. Wants the challenge, and he's got it. Tough fight for Madden. Two on four, and Hades gonna slide in towards Donut. It's not being watched yet. All the attention is in the other direction. Easy kill for Hades. Dia can pause. Dia can pause until just now. And unfortunately, Hades could only get the one. Had an opportunity for the second. And the lead is whittled down to two. And now Ents just have to back away. They have to concede, concede the fight and let NIP start to build up a little bit of money. Build up a little bit of money while they've also built up an accumulation of nine rounds. They're just two back at this point from Ents. So it's very much game on. They'll go to Tech Nines. Two of them, that is. Two Deagles, Sphinx, Hades, P250, Dia. No armor, though, except for that of Snappy. He had the highest amount of income. And it's pretty much a mow down. They're running a very similar setup to what they saw from Ents in the first half. Certainly in middle. Nice tag with the headshot on Hades. Double digits for both sides. Guns again for Ents. Ooh, Krieg for Hades. Okay. Okay. Let's see what he's got. Going old school. Is that a cubby peek? Is that him to try and get middle from the L turn? To see the lane a little faster as well? Let's see if they have the same kind of struggles. You know, you've seen it a couple times. That utility is just so brutal. And now that NAP's established their money, Oh, that was 100% going to be a cubby peek. But the lineup, Hampus saw it as the smoke bloomed and absolutely destroyed him with a double dink from an M4. Snappy sees the flashbang from Donut as well. Unfortunately, he eats it full force. Ooh, he's a little bit lucky to be alive. Flopsky, oh, he does have it at the end. Snappy didn't expect that peak whatsoever. Five on three, and NIP doing right back to ends what they did in the first half, establish Solid man advantages in middle and lane. Sphinx being brave, but as his teammate to at least watch the connector above him. That box is from the Jag. They'll burn Hampus finally with all the, at that utility, but they've lost Madden in the process, so they stay in a four on two, and it's still two man down. Both teams feeling restricted, I think, on this T side so far. Stags in the cubby, by the way. That's going to be very hard to deal with considering they won't be in a perfectly tradable situation going into the site. They've only got one smoke, no Molotov to clear it. They're hoping someone's going to make a mistake in the middle. They're hoping Sphinx can find one here to thin things out. Um, smoke towards Donut is going to keep Rez neutralized. Plopsky has to keep his eyes on mid for the moment because Rez can't spot anything. He can only look towards the A-bomb site. Contact as we come up the ramp. So the check cubby, he hasn't looked all the way into it. This is so difficult. Because he's got to hit essentially a 90 degree flick. The second he shoots at S tag, he sees, and he the, sees the gun barrel. Yeah, the gun barrel's 
promising, but here we go. S tank pops out. Oh, Sphinx was ready for it. They turned it. They actually set the crossfire in reverse. Now there's a chance. Molotov down, though. He's forced to go forward. Oh, my. Sphinx is on one. Absolutely bomb planted. Just barely. Dia gets time to get the gun out. He knows this lane now clear. Uncertain as to where Rez will arrive from. And it's going to be the flank. This gives Dia the upper hand, at least for the moment, in positioning. Shadow as well, but Fuzzy makes no mistake when he peeks, and it's a tie game. This Molotov that NIP is saving for the default plant spot behind that pillar is ruining Ence's day. That's the second time that they've gone to get the bomb down and there's just flames in the way they have to plant in the open where it's so hard to cover, where you're so exposed and it's throwing him for a loop. Either oh, way. Oh, he's in smoke, but just beside it. Yeah, either way. I mean, what a great way to take that beef bomb site contact as well. As you mentioned, that was going to be so tough to clear out. Heads up play from Spinks staying on top of things. Fuzi's having a good game as well. He's up to 20 kills. Matched by Sphinx on the other side of things, but we're all tied up at 11. Molotovs again in middle. Ooh, smoke for Madden to clear the Molotov that goes toward lane. If they had gone for an aggressive push to try and control that situation, control that position, Madden would have been perfectly positioned very quickly to cover off Jaguar. But now with lots of smoke there, he's got decisions to make. I thought he might try and spray back into it. He's not. Doesn't want to give himself away. Bobski backs off the position. That smoke gone. Madden starting to try and clear and find it. They spot each other. Madden comes out worse for wear. 30 HP. Snappy knows that they are going to be retreating back through the cave, though, and tries to catch them on retreat, catch them in return. They've gotten control. They've only paid for it in health. At least this time they haven't lost anyone early on. Hades already streaming up as well. Clearing Cubby. No. Gets caught by the crossfire. Is forced to peek. The spam coming through. Ruins S tags day. Is that Molotov going to come in? No. Nobody has it here. Plant's going to go down. Hamp is trying to find an angle. Oh, that Molly. Oh, that's lovely. He pre-fires the same side as the Molotov. So if he goes that direction, he's taking damage from two different instances and therefore it's too much to handle he gets dropped snappy drops Fuzzy though Molo oh excuse me smoke hits him I was gonna say Molotov to the lane it's a smoke that bounces off of him I don't know if it left a gap or not we didn't stay with snappy's perspective long enough but Sphinx he's got perfect perspective and perfect vision catches out Ampus but not Rez Maiden in the same position will come out to take care of him and it's back to the lead for Ents yeah NIP still haven't been able to get the lead that's the closest they've gotten is all tied up at 11 that's a great round for Ents as they just battle their way and this time the Molotov was just a little bit late after the plant went down even though Nets have a kill. Good shot from Sphinx as the retake comes in. They've handled Ents this uh, this cubby position without a Molotov so well coming up. They've handled all the crossfires that have been set up. NIP has the right idea. That crossfire is just getting sprung at like maybe a half second a little bit late. Hades said, eh, Krieg didn't work. I'll just grab the AWP and fire it into that corner instead. No success, but not a lot of spam back at them, so they'll actually take the initiative to go through. Hades and Sphinx, the one to do so. Yeah, NIP's not nearly as... Ooh, that's a nice nade. That's a nice nade onto Sphinx. That hurts, and he wanted to be aggressive. I was going to say, NIP not nearly as willing to be forceful in middle. They're throwing out the utility. They're getting some of the nade damage, but no one is actually swinging on that mid choke point, as we saw Ents doing in the first half. Nobody's pushing all the way down mid to challenge lane. to check all the angles of window, a more passive approach to middle. Arguably from both sides. Ooh, did they see him? Did that time. Plopsky was tagged. Haiti got Fuzzy. All right, so he's dropped. That shot came through, and Plopsky was tagged up. Madden was able to finish that off, so both those kills do go in favor of XS tag, though. Spraying in and found out. Dach? Dia? Dachia? Dachia's a car. But Dia ran him over through the smoke. Rez is going to sit back and I think at this point not even go for this one. They've got to concede. Yeah, they're out of money. Reza's 1,500, that's the most. Everyone else is 350 or less. So they need these weapons alive. Rez might be able to drop a gun over if NIP want to get frisky and force up a buy in the next round. And Ent's going to extend the lead. A timely round win to knock the economy low for NIP right towards the end of this map. Ents already leading with that victory on Nuke. Looking to close out the semifinals 2-0 and book a ticket in the grand finals, a chance for the trophy. That'll be against either FaZe or Furia, which is the semifinal coming up.
later this evening, just after work completed here in this in this affair. I think that's gonna be a banger. That's gonna be a brawl. If Faze You need to capitalize on this, you need to punish them in every way possible and get yourself to that 14th round. Because every back and forth affair starts to favor NIP. Surely they take an economic control sooner or later if that continues to be the trend. Enz is not afraid of this mid utility whatsoever that NIP is throwing out. Sphinx is just fearless in taking this control. They, Boost. They stopped just to note Hampus going toward that cubby. It hasn't been as frequent. It's a two man, not the three man. Ooh, careful with that jump. Rez is going to back away with the AWP, readjust, reposition. But he's going to stick at the B bomb site, move in towards cave. Plopsky there to try and keep some space, but again, it's only a USP, not a whole lot of stopping power. And I think I think Ents is going to slow this down. You have to imagine they're going to let Spinks kind of start to investigate. It's exactly what's happening now. Ooh, dinked up. The USP as well. Fuzi, that's really good work. He can fall back to the site. D has been dinked. The accuracy for this round on NIP's hands has been splendid, unfortunately. The weapon's just not powerful enough, including that of the M4, but Fuzi's picked that up now to use as well. That does not have any armor. You've got Rez on an AWP with armor. Do you give him the M4 and get the AWP onto someone who just needs to hit the shot without the impunch? That's a good question. I think you just leave him on the AWP. I think your idea now is and let's shuffle weapons to try and win this round. I think that's how do we keep these weapons alive. They're actually going to start moving over towards the B bomb site. Not aware how lost it is. And oh, Spinks almost doubles him up. I don't think he's aware of S Tag's position. Rez has one, but he's stuck in this fight. He's stuck between a, literally a rock and a hard place. Good kill from S Tag to secure the retreat. Two on three. And even with a kit on res, low HP, they want to preserve these monies. Economy is too much of an issue for NIP to risk it all here. It's going to be 14 to 11. Ents two rounds away from the grand finals. Nice tag. Waiting it out will not be pursued. Hades is still inside of middle. Maybe making sure no one's going to ninja. We have had a ninja. If you weren't joining us last week for Group D before playoffs, Config had a had a nice ninja against EG. Oh, yes. On Vertigo. Yep. Very, nice. very first map or round of the series. Yeah, that was very spicy. Three-round lead. NIPs used two timeouts. They've got two remaining. I think Ens has used three. Full buy coming in for NIP. A little bit of money in the bank on Hampus and Plopsky. Not a whole lot to be happy about. Utility drop down mid. This time, Spinks not going to challenge it, although Madden's made the run to lane to help clear it out from the other side. So now Spinks can come through with confidence. Interestingly, both these teams have songs about them. Everyone knows Easy for Ents, but does everyone remember Ninjas? Ninjas in pajamas. Oh, I thought you were going to do Vanilla Ice. Ninja Rap. Oh, that has no. nothing to do with NIP, it's just, you know. To do. No, I was being quite literal. It is an amazing song, though. Fousey with the op. In cave, peering through the hole towards Jaguar. Double set up with Plopsky. Spinx is going to be so patient with this, but the longer the time goes on that no one even challenges from Donut, the more likely he is to try and just take middle oh take window. As Tag's already gone back that direction as well, so the fact that Fousey's now down, if they clear Plopsky, they have an open B site. As Tag has to respect it. Plopsky's done a phenomenal job, though. He gets two, but finally, Dia puts him in his place. Missed shot from Spinx. Suddenly, the advantage back with NIP. They're going to get toward the site. As Tag, I did mention, was rotating back over, but he's outside of the site itself and back toward the lane. He's staying hidden and undetected because that will give him a chance to try and work in when his teammates arrive. And even though the bomb is being planted and will be conceded, he's in a great position. He even senses the flashbang coming. They didn't expect the shots to come out. Red six Dia down, but that's only after Hades already found that it's an op versus an op on a retake potential for Rez. Has the kit this time. There's no saving. He's got to go for it. Smokes off the cave. And Hades is going back to try and find a rifle, but he may want to hurry it up. He may want to rotate around toward the ramp sooner. That said, Rez taking his time. He's going to get to the bomb now. Smokes himself on it. Still considering cave, but is aware of the possibility. Goes out and beats Hades in his own game. And now he's got time enough because he's got the kid. That smoke just lured Hades into an over-aggressive peak because Hades has the AWP. He knows if he's actually diffusing in this smoke, he's got to get real lucky. He wanted probably a second shot at it as well. All-time important clutch for Rez. Well done. Diha with such low HP as well, starting to even get the one kill that he did. Getting 10.
defense now. Oh, man, and Hampus just got a... Oh, no. So did Fousey. This is huge. What a start. Plopsky, he's given his position away by trying to spam into it. It might have been silenced in Supreme. But so, too, the entry from Snappy, and this has been overrun. I don't even know if this was a designed rush. I think they just got the kills and were like, all right, let's oh. go. Yeah. Well, <laughs> everyone, planted everyone, 30. everyone keep going forward. Holy hell. What a sequence for Ed. Or Hampus as well. He hasn't gone to middle in a few rounds, and this time he doesn't even go to the cubby, and they just rush through because they're like, oh, well, we'll just take this spot. Thanks. Shot from Madden picks the first player out of the sky. Fousey gets picked off at the stairs through the smoke. Plopsky is spamming, gets spammed in return, and then picked off from lane. I don't even know where the fourth kill came from. Doesn't matter at that point. Poor observer. When, when all of the... Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> when all of that's happening, how the heck do you keep up? Rez trying to save the AWP, but it's going to be serious point for Entz. And Hades is sneaking through with an op of his own. They may not even look at Siege. Oh, yep, there he is. Double take. Peace. No guns at all. That's a disaster. Entz may have just won the game on the most bizarre and fastest round you'd expect. Entz to make it into the grand finals here at ESL Pro League. Oh, switch it up into an A-Rush? Why not? Actually, NIP's read this. They're actually set up perfectly for it. What a call on the defense. Nade is finished off by the scout. Molotov forces Fuzi into the open. Rez is lying in wait, and there's enough players and enough bodies to keep attention off of him for as long as possible. He just has to bide his time, pick his shots perfectly. Don't go yet. Oh, he does. I thought patience would pay off. Tries to get the second he's down. It might be too early. They still have the advantage, though. Fousey's got Hades. They're hanging on. Sphinx is left to do it all to try and close this out. Ents had a free kick, and they may have missed the net. S-Tags closed it. It's 15-13. My word. The, the ball's on NIP to call for a four-player A stack. That is wild in such a low buy. That is a phenomenal call out of the timeout. They have just outplayed Snappy. Brilliant stuff, and obviously the opening kill from the scout helps out so much because they haven't seen aggression towards this part of the map that early. It lets them know exactly what's coming. It lets them know they have the right setup, and now Entz has to do it the hard way. We mentioned Natsu didn't have to have the negative emotions yet. He's got him now. Stomach and knots. Sphinx, he's so blind. He never saw the player get into it. Cubby Hampus is going to have a freebie, even if he wasn't blind. Back to the A. Bomb sight. Rez doubles him up. NIP. All right. I, I had him done and gone. No question after that rush. They win the last round. They win this one. Look at the money now on Ensis' side. Overtime is very likely, statistically speaking, because you have to mention that after the last eco. Hampus and Rez close out the round. We're going all 30. Oh, Ensis has been so dedicated to the switch up towards this attention towards the A-bomb site. They might have played themselves out of this, out of regulation. One more buy. MAC-10 is passed over to... Finally, they have a chance. Still, they haven't had a lead at all in this series. That, that's insane to think of as well. Yeah, because they've just been holding on. They've been fighting back in so many occasions. I mean, if you're going to have the lead, overtime's the only place they can do it now, and that's not a bad situation either. No, you're going to be so thankful for overtime if you're able to get it. Up in the hands of Fuzi. That's at the back of the B-bomb site, and Entz have started to ignore mid. They have. This is this is a very different call than we've seen from them all all half. We have not seen a Hail Mary full press at B. And they do it after getting a stack on A, which interestingly enough means there's a little more presence here. Fousey's flashed off though. AWP caught in the open, caught with his pants down. And it's the full moon from Dia, but Plopsky, a cloud in the sky, will shield and shroud that vision. It's still a man advantage. I'm not sure how he is. How is he still in there? Bombs near him. They have to go for it. Plop Plopsky's the invisible man. But it's all on a res, and Sphinx in a one-on-one. -on -one. This is the most uncharacteristic Counter-Strike you'll ever see, and it's as exciting as you'd like, but it's as tense as Nip could ever possibly want to be in, as they have to win this out. Rez needs to clutch this round to keep this series going, to keep Pro League alive for the Ninjas, and Sphinx with time in his favor. 42 seconds is going to go hunting. Instead, he has the bomb. He doesn't need to do this, but he's concerned that Rez is lying in wait. He's certainly lying in wait for a shot back at window. He's going to give that up. And Sphinx is no longer going to peek the gap in the box. Rez may not know that he's this close. Closer still, who sees the other first? Oh, my God. Well, I'll tell you what. These are the two players you'd want in this kind of a clutch. He's aware now. He's aware now. He's baited out. He knows Rez has to be back there somewhere. AK 